Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, key econ concepts in 60 seconds. Today we're going to talk about comparative demand. Now before we start the clock, we've got the production possibilities curve for two countries, country A and country B. It's showing the production of cars and rice. You start off with a question like this, probably on a test or a free response, maybe on a problem set. You've got to know how to do this. So slow it down. Here we go. I'm going to show you in 60 seconds. All right. First thing you got to do is you got to take out and fill this chart. So country A can produce 100 cars and they can produce 100 rice. Done. Here as you can see, uh, country B can produce 50 cars and they can produce, in this case, 200 rice. Good. I'm leaving this open because I want to write some stuff in there. What I need to do is be able to calculate something called per unit opportunity cost. So take a look. Every single time country A produces one car, it's going to cost them a certain amount of rice and it's easy to calculate. It's going to cost them one rice. Each one costs them one. So one rice is going to cost them one car. Done. Problem solved. Now down here with country B. This is a trick. Other goes over. I'll help you out. One car is going to cost them, well, other goes over. It's going to cost them four rice, which makes sense. Every single time they produce one of these cars, they could have produced four rice. And over here, each one of these rice is going to cost them the reciprocal. Other goes over, which is one fourth. Okay, all you got to do now is pick the one that has a lower opportunity cost. Country A only gives up one rice, so they should be producing cars. And country B only gives up one fourth uh, a car, so they should be producing rice. Again, country A produces cars, country B produces rice, problem solved, until next time. Not yet, bonus round. That was hard. If you got that from that quick information, you're a genius. Because when I learned this concept, it took me several minutes to figure this one out. Let's slow down that last part, okay? Calculating the per unit opportunity cost is not that hard, especially with the rule, right? But figuring out who should produce what actually gets kind of tricky. Okay, let's make sure we can understand that again. When we got to this point, now we can compare the two countries, right? We went this way first. What we did is we calculated the per unit opportunity cost, and then now we're looking at the two countries and who has a lower opportunity cost. And the reason why is if one country can do it at a lower opportunity cost, they give up less product of something else to make, then I should get it from them. That's trade. So country A gives up one rice, country B gives up four rice. Which one would you rather have? The country that gives up one or the country that gives up four? Yeah, one. So right here, as you can see, good country A should produce cars. Country A should produce cars, no doubt about it. Good country B, they give up one fourth a car, right, for every single rice they make. And country A gives up one. Well, one fourth, I'd rather have them produce it because they give up less. And so country B should be producing rice. That's how I got those numbers. Now, the question is, what does it do down here? Well, it actually shifts the curve. This is going to get tricky, so slow down. Take a look. We said country A is going to produce uh, cars. If country A produces all cars, they'll produce 100 cars. And they're going to trade, yes, trade for rice. So when they do that, that's actually going to shift out the curve like this for country A. It shifts the whole curve out. I'm not going to take it the whole way for there's a couple of reasons why, but that's the idea. It'll shift out the curve for rice because trade shifts the curve. Right? Imagine it would kind of go all the way down. In country B, on the other hand, they're going to specialize only in the production of rice. What are they going to do? Well, they're going to trade. They're going to trade with the other country. So they're going to produce all rice, and they're going to get cars cheaper from the other country. And that's going to cause their curve to shift out as well. Now notice, both curves don't shift. They don't, they're not going to get more cars and more rice. It doesn't shift, shift, shift the whole curve out. It only shifts the one that they're trading for for a lower opportunity cost. That's pretty tricky. So I suggest you take a look at your book. Go ahead and figure this out. Try a few more questions. Until next time.